up guys welcome to another video so this is going to be for like a selective audience um whoever owns a range rover l322 it's a little windy so hopefully you guys could hear me but anyways look where i'm at this is a we are at painted canyon there's the range rover so anyways this is going to be for a selective audience. Whoever owns a 02 through an 010, maybe up to an 012, I'm not sure. But anyways, so this is for anyone that uh, has had problems with their O2 sensors. I think I found the problem. I think I, think I found the fix. Well, it fixed mine anyways. All right, guys, I'm going to try to help you guys save some money so if you guys have been having if you guys have been having trouble with your l322 range rover and your your uh o2 sensors have been giving you error codes um p0171 or p0174 lean was it lean fuel bank one and lean fuel bank two is too lean <laughs> i'll tell you what it says right here let's see if it says your fuel system is too lean on bank one or your fuel system is too lean on bank two um, your check engine light will illuminate p0174 is the bank two so p0 171 is bank one so what it is is you know you could change your o2 sensors you could change you could change everything i like i said i changed the o2 sensors all four the ones before the cat the one after the cat i even welded had someone weld my muffler all the holes anything to do like i thought maybe my my um manifolds were leaking like i thought maybe air was getting in there creating those codes to come up so i for the longest time i said you know what i replaced everything did everything the only thing i did not do is put um manifold gaskets on because they're a pain but i'm planning on doing that i'm i think i'm planning on doing that i'm not sure yet pretty expensive so anyways everything's welded up there's no holes in the exhaust system and I think maybe my driver's side manifold might be leaking a little bit when I step on the gas when it's cold in the morning I hear this little little sound that's not normal Whew. I went for a walk so that's why I'm tired so anyways um, to get to the point this is for a selective audience and so I replaced everything. I'll even point out what I replaced before. Okay, right here, I put another cap on, but for some reason this thing's leaking right here a little bit. See how it's all spewing out? So anyways, the water's still full. So uh, yeah, I replaced everything. Vanos, the Vanos is down there, that one and that one, replaced both of them. Replaced the sensors, the camshaft sensors, everything even put brand new i don't know if you can see it down there water pump um thermostat um anything you can think of manifold even the mass airflow sensor i replaced that replaced everything throttle body replaced even this uh this little contraption right here that controls your um speed sensors this little fly is bugging me but anyways replaced everything everything you could think of i replaced so what i what what it ended up being on this vehicle this right here there's a rubber gasket inside here this part comes off you unclamp these two things right here this piece comes off this part of the throttle body or the air air cleaner you pop this off and there's a little rubber ring in there rubber gasket a flat one flat rubber gasket so anyways i siliconed it i didn't even Figured, you know, I'm just going to silicone it. So I threw a bunch of silicone right there. And voila. Easy fix. 
that was the easiest fix it's been a month <clears throat> it's been a month since uh, I've done it but it worked O2 sensors lights all went out checked it it's been I've been driving it for a month now and there's no check engine light on thank god for now right so anyways it ended up being this right here you wouldn't think this would cause it because it's before the mass airflow sensor but i guess it sucked enough air in here which created like i guess this has to have like some kind of vacuum it created enough to where it messed with this so anyways that's what my problem was i couldn't believe it i i was thinking to myself what how would this cause it because this is what tells the car how much air is going in but i tried something i took this off popped this off and left this hose this thing won't stay running with this uh with this off so that's what it ended up being this part right here I had to silicone it all around, put it back in, left the gasket in there, and that fixed it. But if you pop this off and leave this open with this on, it, it, it won't run. It's just like having this part off. It bogs out and that's it. So anyways, that's what the problem was on my Range Rover. That bank one, it kept saying bank one and bank two was too lean. It kept saying different stuff all the time. So I put the, I bought, so what I did is I bought um, eBay O2 sensors and put it on this thing. And for some reason, I kept thinking, okay, maybe it's because I bought cheap eBay parts. So then I went and actually bought the Bosch O2 sensors, all four from Range Rover over 400 and some dollars still the same exact codes kept coming up couldn't figure it out for months finally a month ago i tried this and i know i should have posted this a long time ago a month ago at least but i wanted to make sure no codes pop back up but what i did is after uh i sealed that intake with the silicone nothing i even i even tried the spraying the brake cleaner the the starter what is it called um starter fluid i tried spraying that because they say if it's leaking it'll shut the motor down or it'll speed it up nothing it didn't nothing happened but i just happened to be messing around with that uh that air filter deal and notice it was really loose like not loose loose but it was loose it wiggled so then i figured you know what what the heck i'm gonna just silicone it and see what happens and sure enough all the lights went off all the codes went away so hopefully this helps someone i don't know if it's going to help a lot of people but if it helps one of you guys let me know in the comment section below but as far as for mine yeah that's the whole problem bank one was lean bank two was lean suddenly bank one was okay and then bank two was lean it kept flopping back and forth i even kept switching the o2 sensors from left to right to front to back yeah not front to back because the cords are shorter but you know left and right so anyways that was the whole problem of this thing so annoying i hate when i i totally hate when uh I hate when there's a, a engine code or an engine light on. So, anyways, I got bored today. Today is Sunday the 13th, I think it is. So I figured, you know, I'm going to take a drive. No one wanted to do anything today, so I'll come out by myself, which is really bad to do. You don't want to ever come out alone, especially out here. Look at this is all sand. But this is all painted canyons. It would be cool to camp out here. Look at someone had a fire pit going. But yeah, brought my drone. So maybe I'll fly my drone a little bit before I get out of here. So yeah, hopefully that fig helps uh, someone. 
Hopefully that helps someone. Look at these freaking bugs. Look at bah. Look that guy on the ground. So anyways, hopefully this helps someone. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it fixed mine, so I'm good. All I have to do now is fix that. I have no idea why that's bubbling like that right now. Maybe that's normal. I've never heard it before. Has a new thermostat, has a new alternator, has a new battery. Oh yeah, that's another thing. If you guys uh if you guys think it's your battery or alternator, I put a brand new, brand new put a brand new battery, brand new alternator. Everything you could think of, I put brand new on this thing. If you guys can't do the work yourself, you do not want to own one of these, trust me. This thing will nickel and dime you to death. So soon, not sure if I'm going to keep this or the BMW. If I get that Bronco, I did put it down on a Bronco. The new Bronco, I think it's called the Wildcat. With a, uh, it has a Sasquatch lift on it is what it's called, a Sasquatch package. Which lifts it up, gives it 35 inch tires. That's my, uh, it doesn't come out till what, this next year, 2021. I probably won't get it till May. <coughs> That's a plan anyways. But I put it down, reserved it and everything already. Not sure if I'm gonna be keeping this. This was my first uh, Range Rover, so it'll probably be my last. I might keep this and get rid of the BMW. I'm not sure yet. I'll figure so, it out. Here's the, uh, here's my uh, drone and stuff. I'm gonna actually fly it right now. It's pretty hot out, so I can't go very far just in case the battery overheats. When the battery gets hot, it swells up, and I don't want it to pop off of here. So we'll see how that goes. So anyways guys, I figured, you know what, this is a different type of video rather than uh, just to get away from all the fires and all the smoke and stuff now. It's getting bad. Everyone commenting that I lit the fire. Mmm, you know what I want to do. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, I couldn't go put the fire out. I'm not a firefighter. And then also, uh, yeah, that's just stupidity. Some people are just stupidity. That's why I say stay in school, kids. Otherwise, you're going to be a little crazy, you know what I mean? But not everyone that didn't go to school. There's some people that didn't go to school or stay in school, and they're well off. But anyways, don't act dumb. Don't make my videos into politics either. They're not political at all. So anyways, hope this helps you guys out. Stay tuned for the next video. I'm not sure what it's going to be. I tried to go to the Bobcat fire. Too many people over there. And I don't want to create that. I don't want to be one of those people that blocks the road and all that. Even though I was a looky-loo. Don't get me wrong. I did go over there. Um, the El Dorado fire. That's almost out. It's so far back in the hills you can't even get up there. So Unless something crazy goes on, that's the end of that video for me. The El Dorado fire. It, even though it's right by my work. So anyways. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you guys share, like, and subscribe. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. And let me know if this did help you out. Um, I know a lot of people have been looking. Trying to figure it out and they still can't figure it out. Hopefully that helps you. I was amazed. Try it. It doesn't cost you anything. It's just maybe a thing of silicone. But try it. See if it works. If it works... You're welcome. If not, hey, at least we tried, right? So stay tuned on the next video, and we'll talk to you guys soon. No, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'll be moving fast. Call me a shooting star.